Yeah, it's in the All top. All right, right now it's recording. Right All right. All right. Hey, everybody. It's Crazy Bob on the phone. I got uh, Brother Vince. What's up, Brother Vince? Hey, hey, hey. And uh, I guess uh, today the first thing I wanted to talk about was, um, well, we got to talk about COVID-19 and the craziness surrounding it. I know. But I, I guess the thing is, is everybody's um, on quarantine, uh, shelter in, uh, lockdown, house arrest. <laughs> living, living like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. I'll, I'll be 100% honest with you. My life really hasn't changed much. <laughs> you know, I go to work and come home. That's it. No, I'm uh, my company and, and, and what I do, I've been working from home for years now. So you know, we're, we're uniquely positioned to be prepared for this. So right. welcome to my world, everybody. <laughs> well, it's, it's funny that you say that. Cause I think a lot of businesses, especially if you work in any kind of, I guess, clerical realm are switching to this or have plans to, you know what I mean? I mean, there's some things you can't do. Warehouse workers can't do it from home. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, and, you know, where I do, you know, broadcasting and stuff, you know, you still got to go to work. Now we're set up for emergencies that if I had to, I could actually broadcast from home. Um, right. And, but then, but the cost, I mean, the reason why companies, there's, I mean, because we've been doing it from home for so long, it's a double edged sword in production. Now, a lot of people, um, they show are actually more productive from home than at work because they tend to work longer hours because they're just trying to get things done and right. because they have freedom to do other things, but they end up going over. But, um, depending on what you do, like, like for our, our organization always has trouble getting the people put in as many hours as they wish they could. Mm -hmm. But, but it's a, ours is a little bit of a unique situation because they're independent and they're on commission. So if they feel like they made enough money. They really don't have to have, to, you know, we're not paying them hourly, you know, but, but other companies do like, you know, you're on a clock electronically where right. you log in and all that. That's, that's, I mean, that's just like being at the office is kind of a grind. Uh, but the, you know, think about it. You're not paying overhead you're not paying everybody's internet. You're not paying for the phone. You're not paying for cubicles. It, it's, it's, oh yeah. You're not paying electricity. You're, yeah. <laughs> you know. I mean, it's insane how much companies can save. So I think a lot of companies will, we're probably tipping their toe in it anyway. We'll just keep it this way for savings wise where I, where I wonder where the, what will or will there not be a huge impact on education under college like like kid, the people can already go to school online for college but are local governments and governments going to look at their balance sheet and say man by having the kids miss the last three months we saved x amount of dollars and maybe if we do half of their courses electronically or they can come in for this because the social aspect is so important but it's not more important. I, I, let me, let me, how do I put this? This is not my opinion. I'm just saying reality wise, the social aspect is super important to school and education, but to our politicians, it's not more important than the economical aspect because right. if it was, then kids would still have recess because that was, that was for social and to help them run around and learn how, how to play in groups and learn how to get around other kids when they're not in a structured environment. Like there's science behind recess too, but they cut that to save money. Right. So why wouldn't they cut a ton of money, not heating these giant buildings? Right. That well, alone. I, you know, also I, you know, um, and I'm not for yeah, yeah, it. You're, you're, you know what I'm saying? I'm just I, trying to say I think, I think the, the, once they look at the numbers. At least to like seventh grade, you got to have kids in class. Um, I, I, I would normally agree, right? And I, I agree. You know, I do agree. They should be together. They should learn to work together, communicate. People need to socialize and they need to work in groups and do things together. But what I think we will find is that they're going to find ways to do that remotely so you know you meet online together and then you can go meet socially for certain things and assignments that you have to do but the requirement of being in a building all the time i just see i can just see some poor states out there that's got these kids at home and they got the technology and they look at the bottom line 
And I, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's for the better or not, but it's hard for me to think that some of that is not going to change because all the education systems almost in every country or in every state is broke, except in, unless you live in a really wealthy area, your schools have money, but everybody else is broke. You right. know, there's schools all over the country that, you know, if you're in the North or Northeast, they talk about the schools being like 45 degrees and 50 and 60 degrees in the winter time because right. they can't heat it. So um, I'm kind of scared of what, what that really means, but I could see that that's, that's a cost savings. That's going to be too hard. Well, to I mean, they have also been even here. In fact, they had a vote uh, not uh, just a, a few weeks ago before all this went down about extending the school year. Right. Or, or even, I mean, the, uh, no, I think they voted. Do they, do you want to start it? Um, after, um, what is it? What is the, the first holiday? Um, uh, Labor Day. Labor Day. Started after Labor Day as opposed yeah, to. Like September something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah instead of, of in the middle of August or something right, like that. Right, and right, then right. they're talking about, you know, going to school almost year round and, you know, maybe just do like, you know, nine to two or something like that, you know? Right, right. And right, that's right. something, you know, again, if you don't have to heat a building, for that whole time, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, I don't know. I don't it goes know. both ways. Like, yeah. here's the thing, right? Like the, the reason they have summers off is because they were farmers, right? They had to work in the summer, right? right? So people are no longer farmers and their kids. It's against the law to make your kids be sharecroppers. God bless grandma. Right. <laughs> right. Poor thing. Ran away from home, got away from the fields. But anyway, um, <laughs> uh, but that's, you know, that's the point of it. The other side of it is, who benefits the most by making kids go to school all year round? You know, just the business community. Right. People just got to work more. They don't have to spend more time with their kids and all that. And who suffers? Kids and families. So, yeah, is it, is it you know, do they need to have a summer off? But is a, does a summer off negatively affect them? No. Probably not, you know. Right. So I, you know, I don't wish school all year round on anybody. <laughs> no, no. But I do, I do say this, you know, when you have your schools at, at, you know, like you said, but daycares have summer. them all year round. But know? I mean, the thing is, is, is for me, and and I don't know how even we got on this because this wasn't even what we we're going to talk about. Right, right. But um, you know what? In this country, uh, you support what, and you know what's important to the country, or at least the the representatives of the country right by what they spend money on and the thing is if and it kills me to say this but if education was important to this country they would put some money into it and it's, you know and and, and, and and the thing is is you're gonna you're, you're gonna have a whole generation of half educated kids because kids. Kids you know, nobody's putting any money into it well kids don't kids don't feed into their campaigns and kids don't vote even right. young people don't vote at the extent of, of the 50 plus club, right? They vote way, way, way more than young people. Right. That's why, you know, politicians but, I mean, ignore. The point, the point being them, is, you know, what's important to the country? What's right. or what's important to. We talk a big game. Right. I, yeah. Everybody, I mean, they, they, they talk like, about kids, how Im they talk about how kids. important education is, but they're right. talking, you know, kids. around here, you know, everybody's saying, I'm going to keep my kids in homeschooling because yeah, you know, yeah. homeschooling is to kids them is, you know, the Jerry Springer that. show. They don't need but, that liberal education. You know, here's right. the thing. Here's the thing about. And, and, well, I mean, also if healthcare was really important, it would yeah. be paid for. Right. It's just because, funny. But I mean, the only thing by money, if you look at the money people spending on it's defense. Right, right, right. And I get we, that, but I mean, spend, how much more do you need than everybody else? You know, right? No, I, I mean, we we spend an enormous enormous amount. Like Boeing, Boeing gets billions every year on stuff that's failed, right? Like they have failed projects, mm -hmm. uh, you know, hundreds of billions of dollars on failed projects. Boeing alone, General Dynamics, yeah, though they they're they are, but those are the people that support. You know, they pay politicians the most money. You know, right. and and that's that's the issue. You know, is is just the money in politics. What can happen before and after, and that's why people vote the same way no matter what year after year after year because they got. And, that, and that's funny because thing the thing is them. is is you're right. Is you can everybody will say, you know what's important to me is educating education for my children and and you know having health care. Most Americans would say that. 
until it came time to pay the price. And then, and then it's like, you know, well, somehow I'm, some people are convinced that it's more important. Like if you were given $10, it's more important to pay $9 and 80 cents for defense and the rest for everything else. You know what I, I mean? don't, I don't think it's the average American is convinced. I don't think. No, no, no. I but there's think, a whole lot right, of them. Well, no, I don't, I don't, but I don't think they're giving it the choice in that way. What, what it is, is that you have like, you have politicians or people in power and say they support a guy so say you have a guy like in texas right you got a guy in south texas and or or in, in a part like that so you're going to get the nra or you're going to get some oil companies and say you know what and our tobacco companies if you're in tennessee or whatever and they say you know what we're gonna we're gonna pay for your campaign we're gonna pay for your home we're gonna pay for your wife's home you know everybody's gonna have a job you're never gonna want you're gonna be a you're gonna be a gazillionaire basically forever and we're gonna keep you in seat in power and and it doesn't matter what he votes and what he does because he's got so much money behind him he's able to manipulate the electorate Right. and keep everybody down before anyone has a chance and they just they just they're just outweigh everybody you know in those areas wherever they have the most money and 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 the most reach with their money you know and and so they just manipulate the electorate where people vote against their interests all the time in the united states all the time and not and but they do it they're not here's the one thing that they know about politics and this is just true about about life and people right people will act out of fear right people will people will do more to avoid pain than they will to fight for pleasure so you 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 have this big monster and you have all this money Pay, playing basically fear politics right they're going right. to do this they're going to take your guns they're going to do this they're going to do this they're the antichrist right they're everything da, 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 da. even though in reality that everybody wants clean air everybody wants good schools everybody wants that and would probably write them on a sheet of paper in order and not put defense first they really would but but the water is spoiled where they're not voting for that guy they're voting against the image of somebody else right right you know and and, and it's like when i it, if you know when i went to the south when you go to the south it's, it, it was a, a eye opener for me when i was younger just how much regular radio manipulates the listener like like every radio station no matter what 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 type of uh genre or what type of music everything was like Oh, not a liberal, or not a this, or not a nor nobody or northeast, or not not, not these. And now, and now it's like, man, we don't even care about you guys that much. Like we don't, we don't sit. You don't, you don't hear every radio station making fun of the South and how ignorant they are, or this or that. Like we just, we're just too busy, right? Like it's just different. But there, like, there's a concerted effort everywhere. Like, so their brainwashing is like continual and on demand at all times. And right. that's what they grow up with. So when it comes to, they don't even, they don't even look and listen in most cases, you know, they don't. And, and it's just like, we got to go with this guy. We got to do this thing. You know what? Let me ask you one thing before uh, we get to what we're actually going to talk about. <laughs> for, for sure. <laughs> was uh, um, Wisconsin yesterday. Um, the governor, there's the, the governor tried to postpone a right. primary election right. for some, you know, oh, oh, there's a global pandemic. So right. he's like, you know, maybe we could yeah. push it back. Uh, maybe we could, uh, you know, extend absentee bowling, uh, yeah. voting legislature said no. Right. And, right. and, and, and in, in places like Milwaukee, there was five polling places in Milwaukee. That's it. Because, yeah. you know, polling workers stayed home and you're trying to make people decide, hey, what's more important, right. my civic duty or my health? And it's just like all the, these, this group of people who are constantly making unsubstantiated claims about voter fraud well, they don't are want, committing it. You know, I mean, they they're making people I mean, to vote. I, that's they, exactly it. And it was like, just like so blatant. There is no yeah, excuse other than voter suppression they don't want yeah they don't it, want it is so it's so and it's so dangerous it's, it's like so just, obvious and, right. and people are just you know there's no excuse but I the have supreme yet to court let it happen you know and and to be honest you know when you look at that 
how easy it is. I mean, how easy is it for somebody, somebody, somebody's easily going to die from that easily. Cause the whole state, right. You got, you got right. people all around the whole state going into one place and touching in the same areas. I don't care if they were six feet apart, they were all ending in one spot. They were all going <laughs> to right. one place, right? That stuff, it stays in the air, you know, you know, doctor said it could even get in the water and when the waves crash, it goes in the air. Like, you know, like, it, it, you know, it's to touch and it could be on cardboard for this long and plastic for that long. And everybody's going there and old people, right? Cause they vote more than anybody. So they're right. the most susceptible, you know, but, it, again, it just, you know, when I heard that and nobody, I have yet to hear a good excuse. No, man, I, and there isn't one. There no, isn't one. I haven't, but it's, even, it's I haven't even, bad, I haven't even heard anybody say, give a bad excuse. I've heard no excuses at all for, for you know what I mean? I've heard it, nothing at all. It's yeah, just like, no, nope, we're easily not make it electronic, you know, and just do yeah. like a double verification or something. I mean, it's, it's, but again, if you don't want people to vote, then well they're they, doing a, a really good job of it <laughs> so. you know they're using tricks yeah they're trying they disenfranchise people you know so yeah. that people are like eh, you know because that's the or worst killing place. off <laughs> that's, you know but i mean that's the worst place to, of voters right. you know right well cutting them off but i mean that the what they want is apathy they want people to think well it doesn't matter anyway yeah that's when you know that's that's that that's when they have full control and, no. you know, they're close to it. So, anyways, what I really wanted to talk to you about yes, <laughs> was, was uh, you know, our, our self-sequestering. Um, imagine, if you will, <laughs> this happened when we were kids. How different would it be? Wow. Because when we were kids, we didn't have computers. We didn't have video games. We didn't have oh. cell phones. Um, We'd be, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's different is now you try to get your kids to do things apart so they won't fight <laughs> yes but back <laughs> then parents made kids do everything together oh yeah it was did. totally different right totally so like, totally there. all it would mean is i'd be getting picked on to be real, to be honest because <laughs> i was the youngest by a lot when we were younger <laughs> so it wouldn't have been good for me but i mean <laughs> i mean it's just a completely different it's a good, it's a different yeah. world. And I'm trying to think, what would I be doing this whole time? I mean, we had our well, summers and, and you right. know, Ma was, Ma would go to work. So we, we would essentially outside. be there by ourselves, you know? We'd be, oh, you know, we would be doing, we'd be ha building forts, having rubber band fights. What? <laughs> <laughs> Unless we were outside hitting rocks with a broomstick. We can't, we can't be outside right now though, right? We'd be getting, we'd be getting chased in the house by, by the cops. So <laughs> that's true. We'd be sequestered inside. So that little apartment that tiny little apartment <laughs> tv with four channels when we had one black and white when the hanger was right with the foil wrapped just tight enough maybe you could catch a <laughs> cubs game <laughs> right you would hope the, the you would hope the uhf would work so that way you could catch channel 44 right, watch and Ultron, uh speed right. racer and ultraman right. watch the old <laughs> cartoons right and the, the, the original anime cartoons right top hat <laughs> Tennessee tuxedo. Oh, what? <laughs> well, not fail. <laughs> but I don't but know. can we you were... imagine how different it is? I mean, I would. You know, I would probably say that 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 we were better prepared back then because again, families did things together. But at the same time, it was such a different world, right? Like you know, so. Um, I mean, there. I mean, this was before accepted, cable, right? There would have been an accepted brutality. I right? mean, we had what like four tv channels on on <laughs> i know what and then happen. two on uhf 32 and 44 right uh, and 32 eventually became fox <laughs> all i remember all, all, all i'm thinking is like i'd have been getting picked on all day and like about an hour before mom came home you guys would have started being nice to me don't tell mom don't tell mom <laughs> <laughs> whatever <laughs> Remember how bad that, that my older brother and sister did me, man. Right, yeah. That was, they yeah. used to fake dead with ketchup and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, 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 that is trauma, probably that traumatized. That's probably the evilest thing I've ever heard. Um, but for Chris, and they tell that story like at holidays. Like, it's funny. <laughs> hey, but think of, think of it this way. But for Chris, makes 
five through ten on the top <laughs> ten evilest things? <laughs> I don't not know, man. That five. probably doesn't make the top five. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. It's not top five. It's five through ten. It's not. <laughs> it's not even top five for evil. Right. Then if you want to add evil and crazy, no. He's way down the list. <laughs> I wonder if Joe does it to that kid, his kids. I don't know, man. I, Joe, Joe's... We should go do that to his kids, but they're old now, man. They're too old. They'll figure out the catch-up. But... <laughs> yeah, poor Joe's poor girls. They just, he, you know, one day he, he's never going to see them again. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. They're going to be like, I'm out. Yeah. You know, you know – um. Well, I got to say, if you, you know, people who are home right now trying to work and have their kids at home too, if your kids are toddlers, you're a saint. <laughs> right. That's, uh, those are the, the, yeah, those are the evilest I kids. I mean, they st- the, when they're toddlers is about the time they start getting cool, but they are like constant little never-ending battery want machines. They're, they're evil. When they're and they toddlers. need attention at all times and supervision at all times. Because yeah, they bite. Yeah, we're talking about this. That's when they're mean and they're they don't they can't communicate very well. But they start to communicate a little and, bit. But but and, and the other thing is, is once they know because they spent like when your small motor skills are, are, are <laughs> and that's the time where you're trying to let them feed themselves, but they're not good at it. Yeah, they so have that's drinking like, problems. Oh, every problem. So like that's when they're like try they you know put the spoon in their eye when they're trying to eat and they're like trying you know when their hands shaking and they're trying to make their mouth and if you have an impatient child you know they get all pissed and just just push everything off <laughs> well you, you know it's funny is like once they reach about maybe three three and a half and they get pretty That's decent awesome. pretty decent communication skills however yes. they want to tell you everything in detail yeah over and right. over again. <laughs> they've, been, they've been holding all that in. They knew you I know. That's what I'm them. saying. They got yeah. three years where they, the only way they can communicate is cry. When they're hungry, yeah. cry. When they're tired, cry. You know, maybe laugh if you get one. But everything else is just cry. And yeah. uh, now they and can finally say things. And they, don't, they want to tell you everything from the last three years. <laughs> and they're potty trained. Usually by three, you know, three and, three and a half, you know, they're potty trained. They're like, you know, I mean, I mean. My kids were getting, like, at, by the time they were four, I mean, they were getting up and getting dressed, like, getting up and getting, getting in the shower, mm-hmm. right? Like, they can do, they're all, you know, that's a great age. They're usually in a good <laughs> mood, you know? As long as you give them a donut or something, everything makes, you know, everything is like, whoa, you know? <laughs> so, that's a great age. And yeah. toddlers are, you just can't wait till that time is over. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, they they, they get a little older. That's some other time. You, you know. could talk to them, you could talk to them a little bit more um they understand more they try new things yeah um but at the same time they start to get moody too once they get a little older yeah they get tired easy because they run they run the battery runs high and then then they got to eat you know yeah. kids have to they they're they're like you know it, it, there is a truth to it like kids are like old, like old men in a way you know like as the older you get the the hangriness comes on quicker yeah, like, like when you were younger, you could not eat for a while and it wouldn't affect your mood as much. But when you get older, if your food schedule's off, off and you're sudden, like, you know, <laughs> what the hell is that? You know, telling the dog to shut up and shit, you know, <laughs> what the hell they want? You got no food or no water. Oh, oh, all right. I'm sorry. You know, my, my, my kids right now are at that time where they get into stuff. Like they're really into whatever at this moment and right. they get so into it. It's almost emotional. If you tell them to stop for a <laughs> minute, but I mean, they get so crazy that, um, it's like, Hey, you getting hungry? No. Okay. Let me know when you're getting hungry. And I t- t- tell them that, let me know when you're getting hungry, but they right. don't, they right. don't tell me they're hungry until they're starving. <laughs> you know, like, you know, out of the that, blue, a- a 10 minutes after I say, you getting hungry? No, we're fine. We're fine. I'm good. I'm good. Let me know. 10 minutes later. I'm starving. I can't believe. Oh, yeah, what are you- and then I was like, okay, it's too late. It's too late to cook. So let me let me get a pizza. Oh, what's taking so long? And they and the pizza place is like <laughs> two blocks away. And they're normally here in like eight minutes. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and then they're just like, okay. it's like you gotta let me know this stuff, man. That's why I ask you three things. You keep asking. I keep saying I'm okay. 
we still, we still, I, Bishop's 23 and we go through that almost every day. <laughs> Swear to God. I'd be like, it's like six o'clock. Let's get something to eat. I'm not hungry. I'm like, but you're going to be hungry. We got to pick something or we got to cook. And then by the time it's like, it's still going to be, well, I don't want anything. So I don't know what I want. <laughs> and then it comes 10 o'clock. I'm starving. You know, like, dude, I told you. Yeah. Well, you know, that happens to me sometimes at work, but like, I'll be really into something, trying to finish something. And then all of a sudden it's like, man, I feel lightheaded. I better go get something to eat. Ozias boycotts me. A bishop will do that too. Like I'll make something and they don't want it. So they just feel like I'm good. I'm like, oh, so you're not going to eat. Right. And then they'll just be like, no. And then I'll see him eating cereal and then peanut butter and jelly. And then something else giving me the sad face. Like I did something wrong because I made something <laughs> Chicken again? <laughs> you don't even know, man. I had they to eat beans and eggs right. for about 13 years, man. <laughs> right? We said, look forward to chicken on Fridays. Yeah, or the pork chop. <laughs> right? Maybe if we're lucky, we get to eat off the bone after dad, <laughs> after dad ate the pork chop. Mm. We get the Remember remnants. How Remember how dad used to eat first? What kind of shit is that? He used to eat only. I don't know. <laughs> 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 right. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> My kids don't know about that ungrateful ass. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, they, oh yeah, they got, they got some, they got some lightweight problems. Yeah, I try to tell them. <laughs> yeah, that's, they true. that's true. That's <laughs> true. Like I talk, like Ozias complains about walking to school. Well, we live like three blocks away. Right. And you know how, you know, we used to have to walk to East, you know, like yeah. it was like 2.2 miles. You had to walk, you had to live under 2.2 miles to not walk or whatever. Well, I forgot what it was, but we lived like, you know, over 2.1. 2. <laughs> yeah. We walked to school. Like every, you know, and it, it snowed back then. It doesn't even snow anymore, you know. But like, <laughs> yes. There was, like a, there was a thing we had back in the day called winter. I have tried. Now I just don't know about that. <laughs> now it's now it's spring, fall, spring, fall, and summer. Yeah, man. Yeah, it, it's it's funny, you know. <laughs> it's just when you say stuff like that because yeah, my my kids uh, you know, they get into stuff and it's just like you no. Know, but here here's the thing is they get really mad too because uh, when they're at my house, nobody can leave the table till we're all done eating. Right. That's, that's a rule. And they right, hate right, that right. rule. They hate that rule worse than anything, man. <laughs> we don't have to do this at mom's. Right. And I was like, well, you're not at mom's. You got, and, you know, one time I'll eat, like, if, if she goes, hey, you want to have dinner? Like, if I'm early to pick up the kids or something, I'll sit down and eat with them. And uh, they'll try to get up. And I was like, ah, not till everybody's done. <laughs> and they get all mad. Right. But the, see, the other thing is, is like, when it comes to that, is like, you know, we don't have to do that at mom's. But then when we come to my house, and like, if she doesn't let him do something and right. I was like, well, your mom doesn't let you do that. Well, it's your choice. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. She said, mom said it's your choice. I'm like, come on, right. man. That sounds like a Bronson right there. He was trying to manipulate gay what he wants for sure. That's both of them. Both That's of so them, funny. man. I don't know. I don't really, you know, I mean, I, I, I've always been dominate dominant in, in like was like the more dominant parent with my kids. Even when me and Janae were together, I was always the heavy, say more dominant, but like if they did something wrong. The disciplinarian. She like, yeah. She's like, I'm going to tell your dad, right? When your dad gets home, you know what the kids did? You know, not that my kids were ever that, really that bad, but so, but I'm lucky, you know, because they're still like scared of me a little bit, you know, and <laughs> so I'll keep that. I'll take that, you know? Well, you know, what's funny is, is we're, we're, more i guess disciplinarians about different things right you know what i mean i'm you know i'm very strict about certain things and she's very strict about other things right you know? and it's weird because they act they don't really act too different around each but I, I will say you know like we have separate relationships than they have with their mothers different we have dis different relationships right. but right, they right, act right, right, pretty right. much the same you know um except they're you know it's like Right now, I don't know why, whenever I tell Bronson to brush his teeth, man, he throws a fit. Like, I told him that he's got to leave the house or something, you know? Right. And uh, it just for no reason, out of the blue. And this just ha started happening over a few couple of weeks ago. Just out of the blue, I was like, hey, man, brush your teeth. 
I was like, hey, 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 hey. Right. He tried to tell me no. I was like, hey, I will brush your teeth with Tabasco, man. You better get your ass in the right. bathroom. <laughs> tell me no. Um, I, like, I'm, I'm pretty, when it comes to that type of stuff, like that everyday kind of like. But it's just out of the blue. You know, it's like, is that yeah. the thing that you're getting upset over? Right. You know, I mean, there's so much more things I'm going to do else. later that you should really get mad at. Why you mess around? Right. You mess around with this one? <laughs> no, it's like, but it, now I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, it's hard to get my kids to do anything. That's right. I mean, I've, re, I've, I've laid off, you know what I mean? I was, when they were younger, I was much, I was younger, had more energy and, you know, I'm a different parent now than I was back then. So everything pretty flows, pretty chill, unless, you know, Unless they get me mad, then you know, then I'm like Mary. But you know, for the most part, I try to like let them do their thing, and then that way, if I ask them, it's not like I've been asking them for stuff all the time. But like I said, if they if they want something, then that's when I cash in, right? Anytime they want anything, it always comes at a price, right? Because if I say, "Hey, do this, do that," it's like I got you know, you got to chase them around and ask them a bunch of times and do this and do this. So when they're like, "Hey, I need a ride here," I'm like, "Oh yeah, for sure." After you do this, oh yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, after you do that, you know, and but but other than that, you know, I'm lucky. They're pretty, you know, my kids are are pretty chill. I mean, Serena was she's in college now; she's about to graduate. But she was the one that was like fought on everything. Mm -hmm. Ozias is laid back. Bishop's laid back. Like Ozias is even more laid back than Bishop. So, you know, they'll just with look. with with my kids. It's um same thing, but it just depends on what that thing is that they want. You know what I mean? And and, and it's right. the same way. It's like hey, like I, t I I tell them ahead of time what's going on. And yeah. I remember I used to do this when they were really young, right? When they start understanding what I could say, uh -huh. whenever I would go to the store with just me and them, I was like, no toys, right. no candy, repeat after me. And they would say, no toys, <laughs> no candy. Right. So it got to the point where I, you know, I'd pull up to a store. I was like, all right, what do we say? And they would say, no toys, no candy. So um, I got ahead of that rather than wait until they got in the store. You know what I yeah. mean? And the yeah. same thing like uh, last weekend because I've been so busy. Work has been crazy because with all the, the COVID right. stuff going on. I, and I was like, dudes, when you get here this weekend, there's going to be some cleaning. I'm going to let you play all you want, but you <laughs> have to do your laundry. We right. have to clean that living room. And, well, the thing is also I have too much stuff for my apartment. And this is a, a thing that's been following me around since I was small, right. <laughs> since right, my first yeah. apartment, I just have too much stuff. Right. And now I have too much stuff with their too much stuff. You need an organizer too. Yeah. Well, I, I like a I, professional. I, it's organizer. almost time for a, a purge too. I, I think yeah, it's yeah. almost time to make a purge, but anyway, probably say that, but go ahead. So, uh, you know, they knew coming in, you know, this weekend that, or last weekend that that's what it was going to be. So it wasn't so hard because I was like, you guys can do what you want. I don't care. It's Saturday. It's the first Saturday in forever where I don't have to go to a baseball game, a soccer game, the Boy Scouts, a football game. You know, it's like I, know, I, right, right, I don't right. have to work this weekend, nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting on my ass, uh, but uh, we got to do what we got to do. So, you know, I mean, and there was a lot of laundry backed up. So I did a lot of laundry. <laughs> so, and I make it easy on them. But, I, right. you know, at the same time, I used to, like, fold their clothes, put their socks together, separate their underwear. And now it's just like, you know what, my stuff, your stuff is washed. Yeah, no, I'll lay your shirts out. Yeah, and it's just like I want you to hang them up because right. I they don't have dressers here, so they hang up their their shirts. And right. uh, that's funny. And then I it's just, like you guys got to figure out your own underwear and figure out your own socks because I don't even yeah. want to know. But the thing is, is uh, you know now you know it's like I go one step further with that because they weren't doing a very good job. I was like, I want they get and they got mad at me because their shirts were inside out. Right. And that right. drives me insane because I always tell them when they put their clothes in the laundry, you know, don't keep your socks bundled up, you know, pull right, them right, apart. Right, 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 shirts. right. So now it was just like, next time I come in here, I want those shirts hung up and I want them all facing the same way. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> trying to get them like they're in the military. <laughs> I was like, no, That's hey. So, funny. <laughs> so, you know, but then we did that. We did, you know, so now they're taking a little bit more responsibility of what they have to take care of. So. Yeah, no, I, 
I don't, I don't, uh, I mean, I tell them, I used to, I used to get after Bishop and Serena about cleaning and keeping their rooms clean and stuff like that, but they never listened anyway. So I was just yelling all the time for no reason because it really didn't affect anything. So, right. um, you know, I still tell them to do stuff. I mean, they keep, they're, they're better now anyway, like, cause they're older, you know, their Ozias, stuff is more expensive. I just like, I just like sleeping his stuff around, but you know, Oh man, he's so but, chill. I can just like joke. Well, see, about the thing of, the, about Bronson more so than Ollie, but Bronson will like he'll get into something and, and he likes doing crafts and stuff. Like he will take cardboard apart and he will make swords and weapons. That's mostly where right, he right. But he'll leave all the shards and tape <laughs> and duct tape stuck to my car. All he'll just leave it there when he's right. done and go do something and he'll go find the Legos. He'll get into a Lego thing. For about 45 minutes, he'll dump every single Lego out. And then he's done. He'll want to go grab the phone and play some video games. And, right. and all that stuff is out. And I was like, dude, we can't do this anymore. We can't. Right. You know, it takes me three hours, you know, three times a week just to clean up from your weekend. <laughs> you right. know, so um, that's that was why I got on him a little bit about keeping the stuff clean. But clean we'll see how long boy. that lasts. No, just kidding. I mean, they're a little, was it? I said, like, clean your shit up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't let me step on a Lego. I will. <laughs> oh, man. That stuff will go on eBay. I would say throw it out, but I might as well make, a, <laughs> make something off of it. I think we still have Legos in places. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah anyway, like uh, I guess, you know, this. we could wrap it up right here because we had a pretty good talk, but it was fun. It was just, I was just thinking how different would it have been if when we were kids if this was going on. Yeah, and I did yeah. remember the sofa forts were pretty cool. Oh well, man, remember? Remember the we would tip it upside down? Uh huh. And put sheets over the big old the, cushions. Remember we put the sheets over with the mm -hmm. chairs, and then and then we would shoot rubber bands at each other <laughs> from across the room. Yeah, remember mom came home and she whooped that ass because we had rubber bands <laughs> everywhere. You don't I remember, remember this, but, but one time it was when joe and chris was there and i think chris had a couple friends over and they were playing they were like squirting water at each other from the sink like the the sink in the kitchen and it was like maybe an inch an inch and a half deep in the kitchen I mean, it, I mean they, that's how I much read, water. I do. I remember because we were throwing, we were using cups too. I was there. Oh, like, I remember that because it oh. started out, it started, it didn't start like that. No, I can't like remember that. how it started. I can't remember how it started, but I remember because we were every towel in the house, wiping walls and the floor and everything. Ma was so mad, boy. <laughs> it was like, we, it was, it's like, well, I mean, what was really weird, I remember is that. It was only, I mean, it was really deep, but as it went down into the neighbor's apartment downstairs, <laughs> it started to wade away, but it was deeper in the one corner than it was in the rest right, of the right, building. Right. Yeah, I was like, house. I didn't realize how bad the, right. the building was cranked over. Right, right. Well, there's probably a lot of Then we tried to pull it off, like, look, mom, we mopped. I know. Look how clean the walls are. Yeah, look how clean they are. They're still wet. See. You might want to stay away from that one. She was so mad. <laughs> it didn't take much. No. But but no. there was a couple of times she was justified, and that was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. All right, we'll, man. We'll talk next week, and uh, right. we'll wrap this up right now, and hopefully I can uh, stop recording and keep this. <laughs> For sure. All, All right, right, man. man. We'll see you. Laters.